I, I don't want to leave the party. I want to have a good time. I know. I just feel like this is something that needs to be done. All right. Hey, sweets. So you guys texted us and wanted us to call. So yes. What's going on? Peter found and met some random girls. Girls. Here's the thing with that. If I tell them before they find out, I felt like I would be okay. If they would have saw it on Facebook you know? before we mentioned Done. it, it would have been a big problem. Or but I, I, I asked Bo, I go, listen, from my experience with Stasi, it would be a good idea if we did this. And he's like, you know what, you're right. Because you know what, it gives us the upper hand. We don't look like we're trying to be sneaky. We're kind of saying, hey, listen, this is what's going on. Nothing's bad, but this is what's going on. It's not it your room either. It was all of our right. rooms, so. Right. And I'm not going to be a Debbie Downer. He like, doesn't you guys, I'm leaving those girls here, yeah. so I'm like, what's the best way to handle this? They might not be happy, but you know what? I told them before it happened, so you know what I'm saying? They can't get that mad. Like on paper, it sounds bad. You're having girls up at the hotel room, but like all the lights are on, you know, all there's the, some all girls All the pants there. are on. All, everybody's pants are on, mostly buttoned. It wasn't like <clears throat> two people sneaking off to a hotel room. It was a big group of us there. Well, Peter was in the bathroom with some girls. Yeah, Peter he? snuck off into the bathroom. <laughs> I think Peter ended up in the bathroom. Girls. That's exactly what I wanted. I wanted Peter to have fun. He's too. like the most eligible bachelor on the show now. I'm like, go get him, Peter. What do you think motivated Jax to do it? Fear. <laughs> he was probably terrified. I put the fear right in that boy. He yeah. knows. He can't even look at the direction of another girl without me being like, <laughs> <laughs> there was no temptation. There was no. God no. Hell no. You talked to me about five, six years Dude, ago. Are you yeah. kidding me? Oh we've, we've learned. Our, our, no. I've learned my lesson multiple times never over and worth again. It. I am still traumatized from that. It was never like something that was planned. I never, like when I would, you know, I would never go out and be like, I'm gonna f get wasted and make out with some random chick. But you know, it was a combination of putting yourself in bad situations, getting way too drunk. And then also not being, you know, happy during stretches in my relationship. That was me. Being really, really deeply unhappy and resentful. I guess that was my way of acting out, I think, you know? And, uh, but I would always feel terrible if I happened to remember. <laughs> Jesus. But yeah, f the worst feeling ever. <laughs> it's got to be one of the worst feelings I've ever experienced in my life. Just knowing, like, all the hell that's coming and something that you just really, like... Because you know it's it coming. It was not premeditated. You know it's There's coming. no contact afterwards. Like, relatively speaking, it's fairly innocent. Still douchey and messed up, unacceptable. But still, it's a very intense thing to go through, as I'm sure what we all... What a f***ing pain in the oh ass Oh my is, good dude. God, it is a Why? nightmare of epic proportions. And it's not just because of the situation I'm in right now, having a relationship and I'm with the love of my life, but just the... Do you, the, the, the drama, the disgusting, do the anxiety. Oh, we don't get away with sh dude. Plus with technology now, all the websites they have, I mean, you can go and just crack one off and be done with it, <laughs> you know? What happened to you? No, Kristen, you were fine. You were fine 15 seconds ago. Kristen! All right, it's fine. Bye. Okay. Bye. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wow, right. here we go. What was going on there, Kristen? Um, it's called vodka martinis at dinner after being at a winery, wineries all day long. With a dash of James yeah. drama. Yes. <laughs> James guys. had gone to guys night back in LA. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. Can you pour me another thing? I'm ready for no. Well, why would that affect you? I mean, you're so far away at that point, having fun with the girls. I think James is another form of evil. I wanted him nowhere near Carter. Stay away from my friends, stay away from my family, like far, far away. And I had no idea that he was gonna show up and it just like set me off. Like, when is this going to end? Like, why? What? This kid's like a fucking leech. Like, he just won't go away. He's like a little cockroach, he won't die. He just gets worse and worse and worse and worse. And I just have zero patience for it. Cause he had no right, he didn't deserve to be there. It like ruined her, her night. Like, I'm like, are you not over this guy yet? I mean, yeah, we've been dating like, for I feel three like it's years. It's been too long to like still be that bitter ex. You know what I mean? It'd be like if Stassi was still bitching about Jax. Oh God, Jax, and like actively like hating on him. He's a trigger for her. So everything about James sets her off. Kristen wanted the attention when she was insolvent. She wanted to ruin the trip and she wanted all eyes on her. She wasn't bothered with me. She wasn't bothered with me DJing it, sir. She's not bothered. I'm telling you, she wants the attention to seem like she's bothered, so all eyes are on her, so we're talking about her right now, so we were talking about her all at Solving. That's why they ruined the guy's trip when we were at Mondrian, because she wants the attention. She's an attention seeker. 
End of story. I'm not. I am naturally an attempt, like, I grasp people's attention because of my naturalness, okay? She looks for it, okay, and feeds off of it in unhealthy ways. What do you feel like his effect on this group is? Like, what I'm, is it that you're trying to protect them from? I'm trying to protect them from all of his low digs and his insults and his, ener his shitty energy and just the way that he makes people feel, and it's, no one deserves that. You don't just go off in Solvay when you're enjoying the wine and the views and everything to f***ing James is That was part of the problem thousands there was of miles a away. Lot of yeah, of course. Yeah, the story of her life it always comes down to the Sauvignon Blanc, doesn't it? <laughs> Good lord. You guys have drinks on the menu? Yeah, we gotta wait till Saturday. They have a they have Sly coming in. Sly is a mixologist. Yeah, all right, she's gonna design the menu? No, well, we're gonna no, work no, no, together. No. It's a collaborative effort. Yeah, it's a collaborative effort. I'm just curious, what it, like, if you don't get a drink on the menu, what have you brought to Tom? I'm telling time? you right now, if our drinks don't end up on the menu, dude, I don't know if I can See, be a partner. See, this is what I was asking. If you're gonna let them be in charge of anything, for God's sakes, let them be in charge of the fucking menu. I mean, Jesus Christ, I mean, that was just an insult to bring a mixologist in? That's a slap in the face. It wasn't an insult at all. Actually, it was something I was looking forward to more I than anything. I think that's anything. an insult. I, I, we all their drinks were fucking awesome. I've tasted all their drinks there. I, Sly can't make a better drink than what they make. That's not, that's not, well, no. We, we did wanted to collaborate. Job. We're inexperienced. We had never done this before. Well, we wanted to consult drinks, other people, get other opinions. The only thing I was bitter about is I wanted more time to work with her but I was super stoked about working with her. Yes. All positive, meritocracy, best drink goes on the menu. No ego whatsoever. I don't give a sh about my drinks. I just it's, want that's good drinks. terrible. And, and you put all that effort and no, time and whatever's dedication. Best. You guys were so excited about it. Whatever's best. And then you, just, you let best. Lisa or Pandora say one thing and it just puts you guys down in the dumps and I hate seeing mm, that. No, dude. It, because it, they it, would it, say it. something and, and Pandora would come out of nowhere saying shit that she has no idea anything about. You're not a mixologist. You're not a bartender. These guys are in there actually doing the work and then you're going to go up and just say, no, we're not going to do this. Like, you haven't even f***ing tasted their drinks. It was a little frustrating that Lisa told us we would be in charge of the cocktails and we took that on very seriously, very seriously, especially because our name's on the bar, you know? And so we pulled out all the stops and we went for it. And then I'm hearing about this girl, Sly. I reached out to Pandora a few times. I was like, hey, you know, I know Sly's busy or whatever. Is there any chance I could just like reach out to her, start a dialogue, get a conversation going? And she just like wasn't about that. She like was just sort of not letting me get in contact with Sly, and it was kind of frustrating. The thing is, too, is that Sly was coming from a uh, convention that she was doing, I think, in New Orleans, and literally that day is her first time she's actually experimenting with these drinks. It doesn't matter how qualified Sly is. I mean, she's very qualified. She's great at what she does. She does it for a living. But, like, giving her, like, one day to, like, go through all these drinks, like, I didn't see the point of why we shouldn't get a dialogue going and discuss and maybe like brainstorm or spitball and like, yeah. and also when we met up, they're like, oh, Sly's just gonna make your drinks. And I'm like, well, why don't we make our drinks? But we were not allowed to touch the alcohol that day for some reason or, or mix anything. It was but it was of... something we had wanted to do inevitably 100%. We almost went on our own, hire our own mixologist to collaborate yeah. with. We had two. I'd pay out of our own pocket. And then, um, and then we found out that you know, they, they had one, so we didn't go, move forward with that. But overall, it was a good thing. We wanted to work with her. We just didn't have enough time to work with her. When we got into this partnership, I was under the assumption that it was a partnership between you know, Schwartz and I and Ken and Lisa, not Pandora. I didn't sign up for that. Tom, Tom and Pandora. It's the new restaurant name. Yeah. Oh, lovely. This lavender is like Thank you. We'll take another bottle. Ooh. When Kristen starts to like, it's the beginning <laughs> of us, and it might not be a bad spiral. It might be just mm -hmm. like a getting drunk, kind of gonna go crazy and flail spiral. Once so I much we, love in it's this like there's a glimmer in Kristen's eye, and then Ariana and I just literally like, You're like <laughs> and we don't even say it. anything. It's like, oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. What homegirl? Oh my god. Thank you. Oh, so Where's our homegirl? She's on one. 
whenever some like we're like gearing up for um, a trip and someone's like, okay, like talk about how you're scared of like Kristen freaking out. I'm like, no, it's entertaining as sh. I hope she freaks out. It's hysterical. I'm fine with it as long as we're not sharing a room. Like it's yeah. funny. She's out of her mind right now. She's picking the bushes on the side of the road. Kristen, what if you die in a couple hours? Kristen, stop checking out the horse's dick. Kristen. Right, it's fine. Bye. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wow, right. here we go. Clear as day, remember? When I fell, I just went, don't try to get up right now. <laughs> just give it a minute. Just stay where you are. <laughs> because if I would have stood up and just not made it up all the way, it would have been <laughs> so much worse. So I'm just like, fight from down here. Give it a second. Oh my God, I was Never so heard. upset. I miss that. That was so And then that oh. night, you like stood in oh, our no. doorway of our room like it was the freaking Blair Witch Project. I know, I know, but it was like you wouldn't cross over. It was like I had put salt in the doorway. It's like- It was your you stone. Were, you were, it was my <laughs> stone. I had a black you stone for assholes. protection <laughs> that I took with me. But like Kristen wouldn't cross the doorway. Like she'd lean in and ask questions. <laughs> where's Ariana? Or where's this? Where's Katie? But couldn't make this step in. I felt like I was in some weird voodoo shop. Like it was hysterical. <laughs> I love girls trips. Isn't it actually the Copenhagen? When you wanted to take the picture in front of the sign. The, the Copenhagen <laughs> sign. <laughs> yeah. She said that she could fly to the real Copenhagen. Yeah, she's like, really? I can leave right now and fly to the real Copenhagen. That will never happen, <laughs> ever. I was like, I hope she does. That would be so amazing if can she you does. Imagine like, her on her way to like LAX. <laughs> she's like, I just really committed to this. <laughs> I said it, so I, I have like to do it. Subconsciously, it, it could have been like PTSD. Like all the little windmills, and it was just like my brain <laughs> was like. Triggered by the windmill. <laughs> Explain that. Explain why that was PTSD. Because Copenhagen, Denmark was the worst trip of my entire life. I never want to go back to Europe. I, oh, Chris, wasn't it also like the worst trip of y'all's life? It was the worst trip. But well, the, that part portion of it was the worst trip of our <laughs> life. And the last night in Copenhagen, I saw The Exorcist, <laughs> and Kristen literally decided to fly home instead of go with us to Paris. I we, paid for a Paris trip that I did not go on. Yeah. That's how bad it's it factual. was. That is accurate. Which was the best It decision was the best decision because- All around. Yeah, you just can't, you would not have been able to, yeah. I don't know what it is. <laughs> what, it what, is it, what is it about traveling that does this to you? That trip, it was jet lag. I've never experienced jet lag before. I've ne I had never been to Europe. We would wake up at like one o'clock. <laughs> this o'clock. sounds so You didn't get jet lag. In, no, I'm serious. You didn't get jet lag in Solvang. I didn't. <laughs> oh, Copenhagen or Solvang? Finish the Copenhagen oh. story. Like, why was it the jet lag? I didn't sleep. Like, for four days, We probably I probably slept two hours a night, if that. And I literally was like, my, it was like, I shut down. But Stassi, it isn't awful. it consistently on a trip that this happens. I We've mean, been on classy. so many trips that have been so fun and so wonderful, and I have not been the melty down one. There's always someone who like melts down, like or, or like had that's that standard. It's like a very specific Kristen type of meltdown <laughs> when it happens. It's just like here we go, that kind of thing. I don't, I don't know. Can you, can you describe I, this specific type of meltdown? Because you I think guys, we've been doing that for like, like the, the last Tasmanian, twenty minutes. It's yeah. like the Tasmanian devil. I think it's like no one can figure out what it is that's that you're wrong. actually mad. Yes. So everyone's Wait. like, I don't know what to do to yeah, help, like, and then you don't know how to say what it is that's really like upsetting going on. you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then it's like it just. It's like after a natural disaster when there, it's like everyone starts looting and you don't know how to talk to anyone and all of that shit. That's what it's like. It's like, all bets are off, survival of Vacationing the fittest. Vacationing with me is That's like, what it's like. looting <laughs> during the Armageddon. Let's just talk about how it's great like, I am again. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Hey. What's up, man? What's up, dude? How are you? Good. 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 How are you, man? The drinks, they're already flowing. All the guys are at the table. Like, Peter's button was completely, like, down to the last button. So I could tell he was hot. He was hot and he was horny. And he's like, yo, we gotta get some girls. And then, literally, he takes a shot and goes, I wanna see some tits in my face. <laughs> and I was just 
just like, oh my god, Peter's on it. I want some titties in my face tonight. I'm no, like, I, I, I want to like. That way. <laughs> We were all really trying to help Peter in the moment, you know? I mean, I forget what it was. It wasn't Peter's birthday, but Peter really wanted to get some that night. Who wants to be my wingman for tonight? Tom, I'll be your wingman. Wing you wing want to be my wingman? Is Tom wingman Wing? wing man. How do you say it? I can't even say it. Wing wing man Wing Wingman. Wing man wing like, it's not Peter. Wing man He knows all the wingman protocol. Break it down for us. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if the, well, I'm not a good wingman. I think, you know, just plan some little subtleties. Peter has always been a all very right, you honest, guys just cool. I, like it out. I look up to him in a lot of ways, man. Love you too. Love yeah, you, you're baby. Good. You're a good oh, dude, man. You mentioned girth and length and. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's not. I, I just showed him pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were irritated at first, right? Yeah, because I was like, why do you have to do a guy's night just because we're having a, a girl's trip? They always trip. do that, like, though. Every <laughs> time we do anything, we're like, we're doing a girl's thing. Because like, it's girl. basically them saying, don't do it too often, because yeah. we can do it too, right? No, they just get, like, FOMO. Like, we do something, like, well, we're going to do something yeah. too. But That's for me, I was I like, we're, like, I was like, this is your first, like, time We've never time abused away. girls' time. Yeah. They've abused their boys' time. Exactly. So. And I said to Tom and Tom, I'm like, the bar is opening, or you guys have a party coming. Do you really have time to do this? You have the space and energy to to have a, a staycation with the bros? Like, what are you even thinking? Yeah. Idiots. You have really been in this all day, haven't you? I wore PJs on the freaking PJ. I don't wear PJs out or on airplanes because sometimes I get like, Wind boners? We can't control that. We can think of like potato salad, potato salad, but it's it's just it's coming up. Every time we go to like get, go to the airport, I forget this, and I'm like, why are you wearing jeans? Like we're going to Europe. This is like a 10-hour flight that looks so uncomfortable. And he's like, I can't. I'm gonna get a boner. I was like, I forgot you said that. That's I get like right. turbulence boners. It's true. I'm, I can't help it, and it's awful to have a boner in a plane where you can't like tuck it. If you have to go to the bathroom, it's, you know, you, you, you gotta get like your luggage to hide from, you know, there's just no way to deal with it. So I gotta have the jeans. So if it pops up, I can at least, you know, get, put it underneath my belt or something. I just it's feel embarrassing. Bad. No. It's embarrassing. I just feel bad that you have to like sit on long flights in jeans. Like that's the real tragedy. Well, it's awful. Well, I need to find like maybe some jean shorts and then cut them off and some, then put like, like sweatpants. Some just stretchy, from, like some if, jorts. If, yeah, no, like if you get to the, the denim up here and then we can cut them off and do sweatpants material up here so that like it doesn't like that's dig into idea. your skin. There's a business there. There is, I think so. <laughs> Jeffrey, do, we'll do a PSA. We'll write a PSA first about it. This is your first fashion collaboration. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever get boners on, on the flight? airplane? <laughs> <laughs> we'll start off with that. It's all right, it's a work in progress. <laughs> Hi, it's Jax from Vanderpump Rules. Wait, how, what's after that part? Finish the episode, subscribe, watch more. Hi, it's Jax from Vanderpump Rules. Click here to... Click here to subscribe and click here to watch more videos of Vanderpump Rules.